What's happening, everybody? <laughs> Ready to do, do some, some soul, soul food, deal, baby. Deal, yeah. Deal, 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 deal. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking soul food. And then we're going to have some rhythm and blues. Can you dig? Can you dig it? Shoot. What is that? What is it? Welcome, man. Right, What's going on, brother? Oh, my God, brother. I'm in here cooking summer. Soul food. What's up, man? I'm doing it, How about you? I'm so glad you could come, man. This is amazing. No, no, no. This is anyway. I said it's cool. Oh, well, I'm just gonna sit down here. What's going on, family? Well, we're here with you, Dad. Yes, indeed. Hey, I got a little bit of a rough mix of the tune that you? we're working on for Terry that we have you see, you know? Beautiful. And I'd like to play it for you guys. Yeah, let's see All that. Right. Okay. Let's see that. Yeah, let's see what you got. Follow your heart, because you know it's your light, my brother. Knowing your heart helps us all, because there's more Seeing one finding the door to his heart's inner yearning. Faith is finding honest ways to live. salt and a little more garlic the three things that you know go into the basic meal of a fried southern fried, southern fried chicken any more seasoning is unnecessary salt garlic and black pepper. I go a little heavy with the garlic because it's good for you and it tastes good it's good to you and it's good for you so we go a little heavy with the garlic and we do a little couple of little dashes of black pepper some people like it hot and <laughs> spicy, you know what I mean? And good, yeah. Come on, yeah. Well, give me a spoon. Let me get a spoon so I can whiz this up. While he's stirring that up, I'm going to show everybody while we're making our black eyed peas here, it's very important to always separate your beans and to pull out the bad ones. See, that's the thing, another thing about southern cooking is your prep work, prep work, prep work. You get everything done and prepared, and then it's all downhill from there because everything gets to cooking and it's all good to go. I take a little dip on my finger and I taste it to see what it missed there. So anyway, now that we got that done, let's go hear some music. Okay. Yeah. Play you some music and uh I got Yeah, a little bit. 
Like we don't want people having them. Delicious cornbread, nice and crumbly, nice and dry, able to take all that pot liquor, all that delicious juice from off of the beans and off of the greens. These are little, how many, how many little sweet potato individual little tarts or pies, you know, but instead of eating a, a, a heavy pie crust, throw on little pieces of phyllo dough so it's like nice and light and um, still get that pie taste. Now who says soul food dessert can't be healthy? Right? Gastronomica. <laughs> the two most popular mushrooms well, on the globe. Mina Sedulis, Sex Porcini's, and Morcella Esculata. So, uh, couldn't have more tasty mushrooms. I picked them both in the Sierras. For me, for me, when I came out to California from the East in 1965, the first concert I saw was Blues 65 in the Santa Monica Auditorium. Probably like three days after I got here to California. Oh, wow. So now guess who was on the bill. <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby Newworth had been talking about you guys back East so long time. Said, man, you gotta see this. The Chambers know this man. James Mother, man, you gotta see him, see him, blah, blah, blah. And the first day I got out of there, I saw you guys. So you've oh, been yeah. a part of my whole move before oh, well, I got across oh, well. Cool, uh, why don't you get Lester and bring him in? Let's have a little listen, okay? Felt good when we were doing it. Yeah, it felt great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm so glad you could make it and enjoy things. It's a great day with us. It's so cool. Many, many, many appreciations. And hey, we'll see you next Sunday. I'll be here, won't you? Peace and love.